21st century China is a nation on the rise. Its economy and industry growing at lightning. But the country faces a huge challenge. The North is drying up. China's growth is threatened. Enter one of the most ambitious engineering projects of modern times. A record-breaking chain of waterways, dams, tunnels and giant aqueducts to rescue China's parched north. Nothing has been tried on this scale before. It's a giant gamble. China's engineers are stepping into the unknown. Six AM on the outskirts of Beijing. Two researchers carry out a reconnaissance in China's battle with nature. Their task to monitor Beijing's underground water reserves. Today's news isn't good. The results are further evidence of a worrying trend. Research from across northern China shows water reserves are shrinking. Supplies are stretched to the limit. China's battle with water is a result of its geography and climate. Irrigated by some of Asia's largest rivers, southern China is green and fertile. But the north is a different story. Few rivers and low rainfall make this region of China naturally dry and semi-arid. Add intensive agriculture, rapid urban development and climate change to the mix, and the situation becomes critical. If nothing is done, scientists estimate by 2030, northern China's taps will completely run dry. Something must be done, and fast. So, enter the three-pronged South-North Water Diversion Project. Still in the planning stage, the western route will divert water from the Yangtze River headwaters to replenish the Yellow River. The 1276 km central route will divert water from the Han River to the northern cities of Beijing and Tianjin. Following the course of the Grand Canal, the eastern route will convey water to northeast China. Every year, the project will divert the equivalent of 570 times the water held by the Caspian Sea, the world's largest lake. Pushed, flushed and carried by a chain of giant constructions, which together make up the world's largest building project.